Hello, let's look at the IS7 inverter auxiliary frequency function through this video. Auxiliary speed operation can achieve precise frequency control using analog or pulse signals. When the main speed or frequency is adjusted according to the frequency reference and an auxiliary speed signal is entered, the motor speed can be precisely controlled according to the auxiliary signal input value. It is mainly used when precise speed adjustment is required in conveyor belts that require vision inspection. There are two methods of auxiliary speed input, analog signal and pulse signal. The analog signal can be adjusted with two signals of external resistance and current. In order to control the auxiliary speed by pulse signal, it is only possible with an inverter encoder option card. The auxiliary speed can be adjusted by the pulse signal value entered into the option card. When programming the operating frequency in the inverter, the frequency value is set at the main speed. In the case of auxiliary speed, it is used when fine adjustment is required while operating at the main speed and the frequency value is controlled by using a separate input signal such as volume resistance. Normally, it is used when precise speed control is required while controlling the speed during conveyor operation or when there is a need for variable speed control. Let's take an example that is applied in real life. When moving products using a conveyor belt in the manufacturing process line, precise speed control is required. If the speed is slower or faster than planned, the robot may move differently from the position where the object is picked up as shown in the video, and the process may not operate smoothly. In this case, the speed of the conveyor belt can be adjusted at the main speed, and the speed of the conveyor belt can be controlled at a precise speed using the auxiliary speed. Next, let's see how to set the auxiliary speed to 0 to 10 voltage. First, select the type of input signal to be used as auxiliary speed. There are three types of input signals, voltage, current, and pulse. There are VR+, VR-, V1, I1, and 5G terminals for analog input related terminals. VR plus terminal is 0 to plus 10 voltage input terminal. VR minus is 0 to minus 10 voltage input terminal. V1 terminal is analog voltage input terminal. I1 is analog current input terminal. 5G is common terminal for analog input output. When using the external vice for voltage, use V1 and 5G terminals. And when using current device, use I1 and 5G terminals for wiring. When using the inverter's internal power, wire the volume resistance between 1 to 5 kilo ohms to VR plus V1 5G. The type of signal input to the auxiliary speed can be set in BAS1. A total of five settings are available, and the initial setting value is zero, none. In this video, it will be set to V1. BAS2 and BAS3 are displayed only when BAS1 is set to a value other than none. In BAS2 aux calculate type, select the setting type of auxiliary speed. The setting type and calculation formula are as follows. BAS3 aux reference gain adjusts the size of the auxiliary speed input signal set in BAS1. It is used in the calculation formula of BAS2 and is used by setting it from 0 to 100%. 
each item used in the calculation formula is as follows. M is the main speed command value set in DRV1. G is the gain value set in BAS3. A is the auxiliary speed command value set in BAS1. In this video, BAS2 will be set to zero. When the main speed is 30 hertz, the auxiliary speed is five volts and the gain value is 30%. The calculation formula is as follows. 30% times five volts plus 30 equals 0 0.3 times 30 plus 30 equals 39 hertz. Next, let's look at the setting method to disable the auxiliary speed function. The auxiliary speed varies according to the input value set in BAS1, but the function can be disabled if necessary. The auxiliary speed function can be disabled by programming one contact point among P1 to P8 of the inverter multifunction input terminal block. Here, P8 will be used as an auxiliary speed disabled. Change in group 72 to 40 dis aux reference. When the input signal is entered to P8, the input signal for the auxiliary speed command is blocked, and the auxiliary speed command is disabled, and it operates only with the main speed command. Next, let's check the default settings and find out how to take action when the auxiliary speed command does not work. Although the main speed setting is set by the keypad and the aux speed setting is set with the volume resistance, the aux speed precision control may not work. In this case, it may be a problem with the input signal wiring where the auxiliary speed disable function is on. Among the multifunction input terminals, P8 terminal is set to number 40 dis aux reference. And when a signal is entered to the corresponding terminal, the auxiliary speed command does not work, but only the main speed command operates. If the auxiliary speed does not work, check the input status of the multifunction input terminal of in group 90, and check whether the input terminal P8, for which the dis aux reference function is set, is on. The auxiliary speed command is activated and operated only when the corresponding signal is turned off. If the input status of the multifunction input terminal block with the dis aux reference function set is displayed as off, check the input value of the auxiliary speed. Check which input signal is set in BAS1 and check if it is the same as the signal currently being entered. If correct, check whether the value is correctly supplied to the inverter and check the wiring status of volume resistance and inverter. Next, we will test the auxiliary speed function. For test, set the parameters as follows. DRV7 is set to 0, and BAS1 is set to 1, and the main speed frequency reference source is controlled by the keypad, and the auxiliary speed is controlled by V1. Since the auxiliary speed command is set to V1, wire the volume resistance as follows. The auxiliary speed command operation can be set in BAS2, and in this video, it will be set to zero. The auxiliary speed command gain value can be set in BAS3, and in this video, it will be set to 10%. The main speed is set to 30 hertz, with the keypad and the auxiliary speed is set to five volts with the volume. According to all setting values, the frequency value is calculated as follows. Thank you.